In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create and display coupon codes on our Gutenberg WordPress website. So if you have an e-commerce site or you are running an Amazon affiliate website or any affiliate marketing site where you want to attract more visitors by displaying coupon codes, then let me show you an amazing Gutenberg blog from the plus add-ons by which you will be able to create some eye-catching coupon codes right inside your Gutenberg editor. So using this coupon code block, you will be able to build coupons like this one where your visitors can click on this coupon and they will be redirected to the deal site and the coupon will be revealed here itself or maybe like this one when the visitors click on this coupon code they will be redirected to the deal page and the coupon code will be visible in form of a pop-up they can copy the code right from here and then visit the deal site right from here only or maybe you want to do some amazing animations like this one where your visitors need to peel this coupon from here and then the actual code will be visible. Or maybe you want to build some scratch cards like this one where your visitors will scratch the card like this and then they can copy the coupon code from here. Or maybe you can add some sliding animations like this where your visitors will slide the coupon code and then the code will be visible behind this. So if that sounds interesting and you also want to create some amazing looking coupon codes on your WordPress website, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. My name is Ankit Sharma from the team Posse Myth. And if you want to deep dive in the world of Gutenberg, then subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified about our two videos that we publish every week. And if you like what you saw here, then make sure you hit the like button and share this video with your community on various social media websites. With that said, let's dive in in our WordPress backend and build our coupon codes. So here we are in our WordPress backend and here if we go in the plugin section, Here we have the plus add-ons for block editor free as well as the pro version. And once you install and activate both of these plugins, we will get an option here that is the plus settings. Once we click on that, we can go to plus blocks. And here if we search for coupon, and this is the coupon code block that we'll be using to build all these coupons. And as you can see, this is part of the pro plan of plus add-ons for Gutenberg. So make sure you have the pro plan installed and activated. And once you do that, make sure you turn on this coupon code block from here and then just click on save. So now after activating our coupon code block, let's go ahead and create a page and see how we can add coupon codes on that. And here we have a page for coupon codes. Let's go ahead and edit that. So here is our sample page where we are trying to create an affiliate page for Amazon and here we will showcase some coupon codes like this. So whatever your design style is, you can add coupon code block anywhere on the Gutenberg editor. So let me show you how we can build all these style of coupon codes right from the beginning. So we will add a coupon code here in this left hand side block. So we will search for coupon. And this is the TP coupon code block that we are going to use. So let's add this. And this is the default look of our coupon code block. And on the right hand side, we can see we have few options here. So first is the coupon type that is standard. And here we have few options, standard, peel, scratch and slide out. So these are the type of coupons that we can create. So let's select the first one that is standard and below that we have some predefined styles but before we check any one of them let's first dive in in the style tab here and let's give it a width. So here in this width section we can define the width of this coupon block in percentage. So maybe we can type in 90% so this will take the 90% width of this column and now let's come back to layout. And now we can clearly see the different styles that we can use in our standard coupon code. So maybe we can use this one where half of the text and half of the coupon code is visible. 
and once that is selected we can scroll down here the first option is title so instead of show code we can type in and after that we have redirect link so this is the place where you will enter the deal page or maybe an affiliate link which you want to promote using this coupon code and after that you can define if you want to open this link in a new window or you want to add a no follow link after this we have the main option that is coupon code so this is the place where you will enter the actual coupon code which you want to provide to your visitors and below that we have the select action so here we will define how this coupon will be revealed so the first option is click or we can select pop up so right now we will only select click and once we finish everything we will see how the pop up works after this we have an option for arrow so this is only visible once you click on the coupon code and this is how the coupon will look and if we turn this arrow option on so this is going to add these two arrows in the left and the right so this is how it's going to add these arrows here so if we click on this again it will be back to its normal state after this we have an option for layout so here you can define the alignment of your text here so depending upon the style you choose for the coupon codes you can play around with this so i'll keep both of them in the middle and after that we have extra options so this is for saving the coupon code in cookie so whenever the visitor visits the website again this coupon code will always be in the revealed state so i will keep both of them off right now and once that is done we can now move on to the style option here we can define the typography of this button so you can play around with all the font family and font size so you can do all that stuff from here and we have already covered the width this will help you set the width of your coupon code from here so maybe we can bring it back to 90 percent and here we can add some padding so so this is going to add some padding in this coupon code after that we have a normal as well as hover condition so here you can define the style for normal and the hover so maybe for the normal we can add a background like this reddish color and for the hover maybe we can add this yellow orange color so now if you mouse over on this code we can see the effect here after that we have an option for border radius so maybe we can add 10 pixel radius here so this is how it's going to look after that we can add some box shadow so let's turn that on and here we can define x y and blur and spread so we can play around with all these settings and this is the settings for the normal button here after this we can do the styling of the copy code so once again we can set the typography padding normal as well as hover state so let's see for the hover we set the background as a little bit of green and for the hover we will choose this this shade and for the text maybe we can add black color for both normal as well as the hover state so let's go ahead and update this page and see how it's going to look in the front end so if we refresh this page here is our coupon code we mouse over it we will see our yellow color and if we click here it is going to redirect to our deal page and here is our coupon code and this is the green shade in normal as well as this pink purple shade on hover and the text color is black so this is how we can create a normal coupon code so let's come back here on this coupon code and this time instead of select action as click we are going to use pop-up and here we can define the title of this pop-up we can define the description and here we can define how the copy button will look like and what should be the text after getting copied and what will be the text of the button below this so all that is customizable right from here so if we just go ahead and update this right here and refresh our front end again so now we click on this coupon code it will take us to the deal page and we have a pop-up where we can see our coupon code so we can copy the code and visit the deal page from the pop-up as well so if we click here it will redirect us to the deal page so this is how our standard coupon code style works now instead of standard we can use peel so this is the peel effect on the coupon that we can create and first we have an option for width and height 
so maybe as a percentage we can type in 90 and for the height in the pixel maybe we can type in 145 or something like that and here we have two options front side as well as back side so once we select the front side we have the content type as default which is this one here we will directly type what we want to show in this first screen before the peel start and we can also define a reusable block here so instead of this normal text we can add a reusable block from our backend and that block will be visible here so we are going to cover that in a minute but first let's come back to our normal text and this is how the text will look like we can add any content here and same as the back side here we have the title so maybe instead of back title we can paste our coupon code and then give a little bit of description here and once again if we go to style we can define the style of every element of this block so we can play around with typography color background and instead of this plain color background we can add image as well so if you want you can go ahead and upload an image so let's say we use this one and after that we will set the position to center and repeat as no repeat and background size as cover. So now we have this background image here which is a ready made coupon code image and if we choose this background image we need to remove this text that we have entered. So we go back in layout and for the front side let's get rid of the content here. So now it looks like we have a sticker of coupon that we can peel off to reveal our coupon code. So once again, let's update this here and see how it looks in the front end. So now we have a coupon code which looks like a peel off sticker. So if we peel off this coupon code here slowly, we can see our coupon code added here. So just like we added this image for our front view, we can add an image for our backside as well. So instead of text like this one, we can add an image here. So if we go in style, here we have uploaded this image for the front size, but we can also do the same for the backside as well. Here again, we can play around with typography, text and background. And this is an option where we can upload an image. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's add this image. Once again, we can change the position to center, repeat as no repeat, size as cover. And again, we need to go back to layout for the back side. We need to remove all these text entered here. And let's refresh the front end again. So here is our peel coupon. And if we peel it off, we can see another image behind this, which is showing our coupon code. So this is how you can add text in front as well as backside or you can add some catchy image here. So this is how the peel style coupon works. And if we move on to the next one that is scratch. So again, right now the image is already uploaded. So maybe we can get rid of this from here. And same for the backside. And if we come back here in the layout, for the scratch card, we can define the height and width. And here is an another option that says fill percentage for reveal. So this means that once you start scratching this card at what percentage of scratch, the final coupon code should be visible. So here we have set that to 70. But for a normal case, 70% is a decent percentage for revealing that coupon. Again, we can add front and back text. So here we can add the content for the front side. So let's say we write in scratch to win. And for the back side, here we can paste our coupon code in title. And maybe we can write something in the description. And for both front and back, we can use reusable block. So once again, we will cover that in the end of this video. And once we are done with this, we go to style and again, we can define the styling like border, typography, text and background color. And we can also add a background image as well. So let's say for the front, we upload an image and for the back side where we will see the coupon code after scratching, we will use just the text. So let's upload an image here. And let's say we add this scratch to win card. 
So again, it's aligned in center. We have no repeat and background size as cover. So now we can get rid of this front side text. And for the back side, we will leave it as it is with the coupon code and our sample description. And if we go in style, here we can style the back side as well. Or maybe we want to upload an image, we can do that as well. But we will leave it as it is and update this page. And then we will refresh our front end. So now we have this scratch card like coupon. So let's start scratching this. And as you can see, we are scratching this card and we can see our coupon code behind this. So let's scratch a little bit more. So it's near about 60%. So now we can see our complete code after doing the 70% of card scratching. And this is the coupon code that we can copy right from here. So this is how we can create a scratch card as our coupon. After scratch, we have the next option that is slide out. So if we select this, again, we can define the width and height of our coupon. And after this, we can also define the direction of this sliding. So here we can define left, right, top and bottom. So this will help us choose the direction where we want to slide the image or text to reveal the final coupon code. So we will leave it to left. And if you want, you can add a direction hint. So this will help the visitors to know what exactly they need to do to reveal the coupon code. So if we turn that on, so here we have this hand icon here, which is showing that we need to slide this image to left. Now, if we turn that to right, so now this icon is showing that we need to move the image or this front slide towards right. And same goes with the top and the bottom. So this is how it's going to look. So let's keep on to left and for the front side. Here we can add the description. So we have already added an image. So here, if you want, we can add a text here. So if you want, we can remove the image and just keep the text. So for the front, we will keep this image here. But for the back end, we will only keep the text with our coupon code. So now if we go in style here again, we can see all the same style and we can update the background image here. And same for the back side. So maybe for the back side, if we have not uploaded any image, we can add some background color or gradient. So maybe we can play around with this color and let's update this page and see how it looks in the front end. So now we have this image here and we also see this icon, which is pointing towards left. So it was giving us an idea that we need to move this image towards left so that we can see our coupon code. So let's start sliding this. So here we can see behind this, we have our coupon code. So let's slide this all the way to the left. And here is our coupon code that we can copy right from here. So this is how we can create all these four style of coupon and we can add text or image in the front end. Now let's see how we can add a reusable block instead of a static text. So let's select this scratch card again because we have scratch image uploaded here. So rest of the style and everything remains the same for the backslide. Instead of default content, we will use reusable block. And here is the list of reusable block that we can use. So all these blocks are already created in our backend. So let's say we choose this one coupon block. And here is an option that if you want to see that in the back end right here. So if we turn this on, we will be able to see the preview here. But the best way is to keep it off so that you won't have much load on the back end. Now, once we have selected this reusable block, let's see what's inside this. So we come back here in our WordPress back end and in the plus settings, we have an option for reusable blocks. Let's click here and this is our coupon block. Let's edit this and here right now we don't have any content. So let's say we add animated heading and let's update the content. So here we can add a prefix text like this use code and the highlighted text will be our coupon code and we can choose the style from here and let's update this reusable block here. And let's refresh our front end and see how this one looks. So now we have this scratch card. If we scratch this here, 
we should be able to see our reusable block behind this as our coupon code. So let's start scratching this. So we can see our reusable block behind this. And this is our reusable block right here, which is showing our coupon code. So you can create a reusable block and then use that as the front or the back side of your coupon code. Now I'm sure you will be able to create some amazing looking coupon codes using this block from the plus add-ons. But just in case you think that there is a feature missing in this block or any other block in the plus add-ons family, then you can always visit our roadmap page here. You can create an account here and then go to feature request and using this simple form you can tell us your requirement for the feature that you wish to see in these plus blocks and this goes directly to our developers and we will try our level best to make your feature request live as soon as possible. So this is how easy it is to build coupon codes right inside your Gutenberg editor. So if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and if you want to learn more about such amazing features of plus add-ons for Gutenberg then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified about our future uploads. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.